Hey guys, this is my follow-up video to episode number 79 of the Industrial Strength Show. If you haven't already listened to that show, I strongly encourage you to check it out. In that show, I talk all about preventing concussions with combat athletes. And we talk about ways to strengthen our necks to help reduce the chances of getting a concussion. Now, in the episode, I talk about there being a lot of different ways we could strengthen our neck, but I wanted to give my audience an easy takeaway, something that you could implement into your programming today. So I promised this follow-up video where I would show you four simple, basic exercises that don't require any fancy, big, bulky, expensive equipment. All you need is a stability ball and a little mini band and that will enable you to train the four major functions of your neck. And those functions are flexion, bringing your chin to your chest, extension, when we look up in the sky, lateral flexion, bringing your ear to your shoulder, and rotation, turning your head side to side. So the first three exercises are going to be isometric exercises, and then I'll show you how we train rotation as well. So, like I said, many different ways to train your neck, but I just wanted to give you guys a real simple routine that you could do anywhere. First up, we're gonna train the extensors of our neck with a stability ball bridge. And what you're going to do, sit on the stability ball, walk forward, and I like to do three to five second isometric contractions followed by a little bit of a break. So I'm gonna roll forward so just the top of my head is on the stability ball. I'm gonna bridge up and hold for a five count. Then relax for a second, come back. Another rep. If the contraction is too intense, you could keep a little bit more of your trap on the ball, like so, and bridge up here. These are a lot harder than they look, so definitely start with more of your upper back and trap on the ball and then progress to where you only have your head on the ball. Two to three sets, five to 10 reps of a three to five second hold. Next up, we're gonna go into training the flexors of our neck. This one doesn't look like much, but it's a pretty intense contraction. What I like to do is get in a push-up position with my forehead on the ball, and then just actively drive my head down into the ball. Same thing, three to five second hold, then release for five to 10 reps. I'll demonstrate three reps for you. For the lateral flexion exercise, I like more of just a static hold because it's a little bit of a difficult position to get into. So once I get into the position, I'm just gonna hold that position for anywhere from 15 seconds to 60 seconds. So I'll just demonstrate about 10, 15 seconds each side for you. You're gonna put the side of your head on the stability ball, then bring your feet out in front Make sure you're secure, and then just hold. You'll feel your oblique contracting pretty intense, and all the muscles on the side of your neck. Then we'll do the other 
the side. And finally, to train the muscles that rotate your neck, you're just gonna take a little mini band, put it around your head like a headband, grab it with your arm. So if I'm holding my right arm out to the side, I'm going to turn to my left and back to neutral. Do these nice and controlled. It's very easy to strain these muscles. If you want more tension, just grab it a little bit tighter. I'll do the other side. If you want less tension, grab the band a little further away. So there you have it, four simple exercises to train the four main functions of your neck. If you are a combat athlete, do not neglect these exercises. Not only does a thick, powerful neck make you look intimidating, it will also prevent your brain from getting sloshed around in your skull during the contact of your sport, which will drastically reduce your, ch your chances of getting a concussion. That's why that isometric strength is so important. So when you get hit, your head doesn't move and rattle around a lot. Remember, the number one reason people get concussions is a rapid change of direction in their head and their neck. So you want the strength to stabilize upon impact. So give those four exercises a try, incorporate them into your program, and don't forget to check out episode number 79 of the Industrial Strength Show.